So the Scotsman gets off the boat and he's like, oh, I gotta make my haggis. What am I gonna do? Welcome to South Carolina. Oh, we're in North Carolina. <laughs> we're almost in South Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina, South North Carolina, where we have Hunter's liver mush and Duke's mayonnaise. Let's come over with me and we'll have a talk about what liver mush is, where it comes from, and why I'm gonna be cooking it for you today. So when we set out from Oregon, one of the things we made a point to do, uh, wherever we are, traveling through or staying even for a night, we tried to ask someone locally, hey, what's one food thing that makes this place where we are, this place where we are? So in Nebraska, it was Runza, which were these cabbage, ground meat, German, Polish, fast food sandwiches, which were in their own right good. Um, we went to West Virginia. I asked the mechanics working on our truck, where should we go? And they're like, Tudor's Biscuit World. That was pretty awesome. So we get to North Carolina and uh, we were at church and I asked, I asked the Sunday school class, hey guys, what is the one thing we need to try food-wise while we're in North Carolina? And without fail, this gentleman's like, liver mush. You gotta try liver mush. And then his wife promptly tried to dissuade us from trying liver mush. So what did we do? We went to Ingalls that day and bought liver mush. And you might be asking yourself, self what's liver mush and you know that's a that's a really really good question i can tell you what's in liver mush um water pork liver pork jowls enriched white cornmeal enriched bleached wheat flour salt sage and pepper so let's talk about liver mush we get to north carolina and we ask the question what should we eat so people turn it on to us we tried it we bought it we fried it then we went out to breakfast and we had it deep fried and that was good and so we're like well this isn't so bad like a lot of people are turned off by organ meats but whatever we tried it and we liked it so we dug a little deeper turns out liver mush has been a part of western north carolina culinary history for the better part of 200 years there was a really good article that we will link right here and it's written by a uh, North Carolinian, so it's probably much more on point than the Wikipedia page. But uh, she attributes liver mush to the Pennsylvania Dutch settlers that migrated from the north down into North Carolina like 200 years ago. And that's great. She lives here and she's probably right. But dare I say, I have my own opinion. So this is my thought, right? So the Carolinas were settled uh, by a lot of Scottish people in the middle of the 18th century. So I had this thought. So the Scotsman gets off the boat and he's like, oh, I gotta make my haggis. What am I gonna do? I haven't got any barley. Oh, what's this? Ah, cornmeal. I'll take my cornmeal and I'll take my liver and such and I'll mix them together and I'll make like a haggis loaf. But it's not, you know, barley haggis. It's cornmeal haggis. Oh, this is some good liver mush, eh? So that's my theory as to, um, and I apologize to anyone that's Scottish with that wonderful, delightful Glaswegian accent, but that's my theory. I think, I think that liver mush is heavily influenced by Scots that came over here and uh, not having any barley for their haggis decided to mix in cornmeal. So either way, though it be the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch or the, uh, the yet to be discovered Scottish Highlanders coming here and making liver mush. We are gonna prepare some liver mush for you today. So there are two ways that we know of to eat liver mush. Um, you can either fry it on a flat top so it has a little crust and it's soft inside, or you can deep fry it so it's crunchy on the outside and soft inside. I've had it prepared both ways and both ways are really good. So why don't you come with me now Why we do this to this and we start frying it up and we get some liver mush going. So in addition to being in liver mush country, we are also in Duke's mayonnaise country. We were at a local store 
and I again ask the question looking for multiple opinions what do we need to try this local food and of course liver mush and sun drop which is a local soda and then they're like duke's mayonnaise we're like oh mayonnaise is mayonnaise and he's like no duke's mayonnaise it'll change your life so we went to the local ingles market for dollar fifty we got a little jar of duke's mayonnaise and lo and behold this stuff is like manna from mayonnaise heaven and it's one of those things where you don't think of mayonnaise being anything more than like Hellman's or best foods depending on what side of the river you're on but we bought it and we tried it and you know what it's really good and what we found out was unlike best foods which we're accustomed to eating the Dukes is not made with sugar so it has more of a savory flavor than a sweet flavor so it's really good and everyone says you have to have your liver mush on white bread with Dukes mayonnaise well we have the Dukes mayonnaise and we have the liver mush but we don't have the white bread. So that's why we have the Duke's mayonnaise and it is really good. It's actually made in Virginia. If you're ever out East Westerners, um, get some, try it. It'll change your life. It's really good. So let's do it to it, shall we? So the crazy thing is, this is what? This is one pound. You can buy like five pound blocks. And again, if you don't eat liver and you don't like organ meat, I get it. It's a strong flavor. But there's something about this stuff that's just really good. And once it's cooked, it really has the taste of like um, corned beef hash that you might get at a greasy spoon, that type of thing. The other thing, it has pork jowls in it. So it's really a lot of ground pork in there with the pork liver. So yes, it's I not was a, surprised. It's not straight organ meat. It's not, it's not offal. <laughs> Oh, it actually tastes pretty good. A little, uh, little butcher humor there. Sorry. So we're just cooking it on the flat top. I used a little peanut oil and it's on medium high heat. So you can see that it's got a little crust on the outside, but it's still soft in the middle. And this was the first, this was the first version that I had and it was, it was good. It's, it's really, really much, much more enjoyable than the name, than the name would imply. So if you're ever in this part of the country, do seek it out, do try it. It's, it's a treat. It tastes really super good and that's the joy of regional food. You get to try things you've never had. So that is basically pan fried liver mush, how you might do it on a flat top or in a skillet with a little bit of oil. Let's move on now to the, the other way to cook liver mush, which is deep fried. We had this at a local breakfast joint. The oil may be a little hot. Here we go. We have we have deep fried on the left and pan fried on the right. So let's head back over to the table now and sit down and try this. Dukes real mayonnaise smooth and creamy since 1917 so let's uh we're gonna take a bit of our duke's mayonnaise and we're gonna we're gonna put a light smearing on the deep fried liver mush so on the deep fried you can see there's a nice crispy crunch crunchy shell and then it's a nice soft center so it it's really reminiscent of like a uh it's like a greasy spoon diner's corned beef hash so it's really super good and it doesn't taste like liver at all. Okay, and then for the stuff that's just pan fried, it's obviously a little softer, has a different texture. It's um, it's more of a, more of kind of like a sausage patty, I would say. You have less of like the crispy outside and the soft center, it's more homogenous in terms of texture. But um, of the two, I would have to say I really enjoy the deep fried because deep fried makes everything taste better. And that, friends, is liver mush. Duke's mayonnaise. You want the Duke's mayonnaise? Yes. 
Okay. Are you ready? Yes. What is this you're eating? Never mind. Is that good? <laughs> Thank you, friends, for joining us on this exciting liver mush journey. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as we strive to inform, entertain, and inspire you on your journey through life. And don't forget to try new stuff wherever you go.